Welcome back, Six Stringers. It's Bobby D. Hope you're all doing well, and thanks for stopping back. And remember, I always have the chords and lyrics up here in all my videos. Today we're going to learn Silent Night. The song was written in the year 1816. I'm going to teach you how to play this song using only the high E, the top string as we call it, because it's the thinnest string. In the end, the last note, we're going to use the second string. But 99.9% .9 of the song is going to be on the high E string. And you can do it with just your index finger if you want. But I'm going to teach you how to do it with your other fingers if you're a little more advanced. Now, I'm going to put out another lesson on how to do this song. For all you guitar players that like playing open chords instead of notes, we can play it like this. And I'll just give you a little sample. We're going to strum the C chord, and we're going to bring our bird finger down to the third string, second fret. We're going to pluck that, and we lift off, and back to a C. So, a little faster, it'll sound like this. That's in my next lesson. All right, so when we start out, We're going to put our index finger on the third fret, high E string. Remember, it's all on the high E string. Pluck once. Then we're going to put our ring finger on the fifth. Lift up our ring finger. Go back to your first index finger, leaving it down the whole time. And then come off and open high E string. So you speed it up a little, it'll sound like this. Three, five, three, zero. And we play that twice. Three, five, three, zero. Now, what fingers? You can use just your index if you want. Through this whole song. Or, it's a little easier though, if you get your other fingers involved. But remember, leave your index finger down on this first seat. Two sequences. All right, so we're going to do index, ring, index finger, open. And we're going to do that twice. And we're going to come up to the tenth fret with our index finger. We're going to pluck that twice. Then we're going to go to the seventh fret, all using our index finger. Now, I'm going to use the bird finger, and I call it the bird finger. That's bird, B-I-R-D. And we're going to go to the eighth fret. You can leave your index finger down. Put your bird finger down on the eighth fret. Pluck that twice. Then come down with your index to the third fret. So that'll sound like this. Ten... Okay, now we're going to go to the 5th fret, index finger, we're going to pluck that twice. And the 8th fret with our pinky, then 7th fret with the ring finger, back to the 5th, leave, leaving your index finger there, 3, 5, back to the 3, open. Right? And all together, that'll sound like index, remember your index finger. Leave your index finger down. Five, five, eight, seven, five, three, five, three, open. All right, that's that line. Now we're going to go back to the 10th fret with our index finger. Pluck it twice. We're going to use our pinky and index finger here. So, pluck the 10th frame. Pluck the 10th frame, like it's bowling. Pluck the 10th fret twice. And use your pinky for the 13th. 
lift off, again 10th, index down to the 7th, third finger 8th, third finger 12th, all right, now that'll sound like 10, 10, 13, 10, 7, 8, 12, and we're going to keep our bird finger down on the 12th fret, and we're going to come down to the 8th fret, we're going to use our bird finger on the 8th fret and 3rd fret, then open, then ring finger on the 3rd fret, and we're only doing that so we can use our index finger to hit next the, the E string on the 1st fret. Now I told you, 99.9 .9 of the song is on that high E string. Now we're going to go to the 2nd string, the B string, in the 3rd fret with our ring finger. Pluck that once. And then we're going to hit a C chord. And that's it. Well, that'll all sound like the last two sentences. All right, gang, if you like this lesson, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, so you'll be notified of my next videos, and remember, don't fret the small stuff till we meet you again. May God bless you. Adios.